In this video, I will share with you five ways how to set healthy boundaries in a relationship with a guy. And let me tell you a little secret. Don't just apply it with a guy, apply it with everyone in life. Hello, my name is Greta Berishida. I'm dating and relationship coach for women. For the awesome high value women secrets, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload new videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And just before I share with you the five ways how to set healthy boundaries with a man, and I will share with you real life examples, don't forget to take my free self-awareness test. Are you a woman of high value or low value, which I will drop down totally free in my video description box below. So without further ado, let's start. Having healthy boundaries is a very important aspect in any kind of relationship, whether it's with your mom, dad, friends, or a boyfriend. By setting in boundaries, you are showing people how to respect and value you. You are sharing with people where are your limits, what is acceptable to you and what is not. And if you will not set in boundaries with people, you will very likely feel undervalued and taken advantage of. Because not only that others are incapable of reading your mind and may not know how you want to be treated, but also can intentionally manipulate you and take advantage of you. Whereas your boundaries will protect you from that. In the beginning of dating or relationship, the guy you are dating will probably test you consciously or unconsciously to see what are your standards in the relationships. And usually the boundary tests start in a very lighthearted way first. And if the boundaries are not set, the disrespect starts to increase. First, how to set a boundary in texting, for example. One of the best boundary examples to follow is to ignore the negativity, reward the positivity. So, for example, you've been talking to a guy for a while, you like him, he likes you, but suddenly he texts you something disrespectful. What do you do? You ignore it. Uh, do not give any attention to it. Don't engage in it. Do not touch it. If you think he will not understand the boundary, well, he will. Because as long as he's over 10 years old, he will know when he is being rude and disrespectful. If However, he keeps texting and pushing. Why are you ignoring my text? Just say that you found it disrespectful and then drop the conversation. If he fixes himself, you can continue. If, however, he continues being rude and argues over it, stop engaging into it. Number two. But how do you fix the boundary if you accidentally allowed it yourself? Well, let's say you're talking on a phone and out of the blue, he starts using the curse language a lot. Maybe he will even ask in the beginning, is it okay with you if I'll curse? And since he asked you, you might feel a need to be nice and say, yeah, sure, no worries. But after the conversation, for some reason, you start to feel yucky and even disrespected in a way, like the conversation wasn't that pleasant. Although technically he even asked you for permission to curse himself and you gave it to him. So what do you do now? say, please do not talk to me this way. No, I have said it's okay, but after the conversation, I didn't feel good. So if you could watch your language, I would really appreciate it. That's it. Now he might listen and respect it, or he might try to break it and see what happens if he doesn't obey your rules. So if he decides to break it straight after the disrespect, 
tell him that you have to go as you have other things to do. Say have a good day, bye bye. In other words, the message that you're putting out there is I'm not gonna stay on the phone with you if you're treating me with disrespect. Number three, you are away for a weekend together and he goes crazy on you. A lot of times it happens when a man feels totally in charge. For example, he paid for a whole trip and he feels you're fully dependent on him. What do you do? Well, it's quite simple if you're financially independent and he's crossing your boundaries, you pack your stuff and you leave. You don't need to break it down for him because he knows he's being disrespectful and he knows he's crossing the line. And this is how you communicate your boundary with your action by leaving. There is no need to stay there putting up with the abuse. This is not good enough. Show him that you respect yourself by, in this case, walking away. But what do you do if you cannot walk away? This is the reason why I had an interview with Heberman about why being financially independent is a must for a woman. As it's very hard to set in boundaries with a man if you're not. If he is in charge of you 100% financially, how are you going to leave? Steal some money of his and run away? I actually know a person who has done it not a good idea, do not recommend it. Instead, watch my video with Heber on how to be financially independent so he wouldn't cheat on you or disrespect you and you can find that video just by following the link right here. Number four, what to do if he doesn't appreciate you? And this is usually happens when women overgive. If you have been over giving and being too nice to him, as in cooking, cleaning, mothering him, it is very likely that he started to feel too comfortable and started to take you for granted. Now, if he appreciates the giving and he himself gives a lot in other areas, then, then you don't need to do anything. It's all fine as you're just complimenting each other as a man and woman should be. Maybe he's building a house and you're doing the cooking, all good, nothing wrong with that. But if you're not complimenting each other and he's just being non-appreciative and disrespectful towards your giving, the first thing you do is you stop giving. Start cutting on how much you give. The key is do not try and impress him by giving better and improving your cooking skills when he complains. This way you're just rewarding negativity, like the more you complain, the better I cook. No, instead when he complains, remove what you were giving. For example, oh, you didn't like it? No worries, more for me. <laughs> Just don't do that thing for him anymore until he starts to appreciate what he's getting. Ladies, I have a very good video. It's called What to do when he takes you for granted, which you can find just by following the link right here. And number five, do not become too strict. Ladies, it's all about being humble and having self-respect. It's not about becoming a monster. For example, if he is late the first time ever, is already coming to see you and calls you genuinely apologizing that he is late because an emergency happened, but you say, well, if you're late, I don't want to see you anyway, and you cancel the date, that is not cool. It's you overstepping it. And in this case, yes, you may not hear from him again. And yes, I would blame myself for it as I have overdone it. On the other hand, if on every single date he is late for over 30 minutes, walking out on him on the third date, if let's say after 15 minutes he's still not there, would be one of the possible options to take. Or alternatively, 
you can mirror his behavior. So ladies, these were my five tips on how to set the boundaries in the relationship or with friends, people, even family. If you liked this video, please press like. Let me know in the comments below what did you think. And ladies, if you would like to learn how to stay attractive via text, games, men play on women, emotional control, how to get your ex back, um, or how to love yourself, I have all these videos for sale on my website and I will put the link um, under this video as a pinned comment below. Join Greta's High Value Woman School where we are all in the same boat learning how to be a woman of high value and bring out the best in our men. Follow me on my Instagram. My Instagram is called Ladies Relationship Coach and for one-on-one -on -one group coaching or coaching with a member of my team, book me through my website which is called ladiesrelationshipcoach.com and get in touch with me over WhatsApp as that is where I coach. Thank you for watching my queens. Kisses from Manchester. Mwah.